Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and welcome to today's video. You guys requested my cinnamon sugar cake recipe that I featured in my last video, so we're gonna do it today. This cake is super high carb, super low fat, keeps you nice and lean, um, it's guilt free. I've literally eaten this cake for dinner, the entire cake. Um, it su perfectly supports your health, fitness, and fat loss goals, so come bake with me and give this cake a try. First thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 350. The next thing you wanna do is line a, I think this is a 13 by nine baking pan with some parchment paper. Uh, I'm actually reusing parchment paper that I used last night for potatoes. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, so here are the ingredients you're going to need for this cake, very simple. Two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, uh, cinnamon, probably about a half a teaspoon. I just kind of like shake it in there. Applesauce, a half a cup. We're also going to use water and a little bit of baking soda as well. And then we're going to top the cake with sugar and cinnamon too. Okay, so step number one is to place two cups of flour. I'm just using an all-purpose wheat flour here all-purpose white flour, whatever you want to call it, the cheap stuff, at store, two cups in the bowl. Now I'm adding one cup of organic cane sugar, some sprinkles of cinnamon, a little sprinkle of baking, Soda, I'd say that's probably about a quarter a teaspoon. Okay, and now I'm going to stir up all the dry ingredients here. This cake is super easy to make. This is probably my third time making it in the last seven days or so. It's a good um, carb hit for the winter when you need something a little denser, especially by midday. I don't recommend this cake for breakfast. Um, because it's a really good idea to get in your simple sugars from fruits and juice and things like that. And after you eat like a wheat product, you really don't want to have fruit afterwards because you're going to have some gas and bloating forming. But this is great for like afternoon snack or I've even eaten the entire cake for dinner. Okay. Okay, and now I'm adding my organic applesauce into the mix, a half a cup, and one cup of water. Now we're gonna stir this up. So applesauce is something that you can use in any kind of baking to replace oil. It acts as a binder and um, gets you some good nutrients from apples in there as well as keeps nice and high carb, low fat, and vegan. Just like what my shirt says today, vegan. High carb, low fat, plant-based vegan. Okay, this is all mixed up, so now it's gonna go in the pan, and you could put this into muffin tins and make these muffins, it would work too. Okay, so once you get it into the pan, you just wanna spread it out so that it's you know, fits into the corners, and this will not stick at all to the paper when you are done, but you just want it to be even here. And now we're ready for our topping. Okay, now we're going to make our cinnamon sugar topping. So for this, I just take some cane sugar and I pour it into my little cup here. I'm gonna say it's about like a tablespoon or two. And then we're just gonna put a dash of cinnamon on top. Cause we don't want the cinnamon to be too overpowering. And you can always add more, maybe I'll add another dash in there. And you just mix it up for cinnamon sugar. Then we're going to sprinkle it on the cake. Mmm, smells so good. And then we're just gonna sprinkle this on the cake, on the top. This is like, the secret 
to making this cake so good. And if you're doing muffins, you can just sprinkle it on top of your muffins. Also, if you don't have applesauce, you can use a half a cup of mashed bananas. And I'm going to sprinkle all of this on. Okay, now it's ready to go in, and this goes in for about 20 minutes. Bye-bye. Okay, our cake is done. I poked it with a fork, and it came out clean. It took about 20 minutes. Now I'll let this cool for taste testing. Okay, so I cut the cake up into 15 pieces. I actually already had a bite, but this way I could show you the texture. Yummy, yummy. And the glaze on top just makes it so tasty. Mm. This is so delicious. You gotta give it a try. If you make this, let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I can't stop eating this now. It, it tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal turned into a cake. <laughs> so give this video a like, share it around, and subscribe to my channel.